what is up guys back again to the channel so guys we just got the leaked set photos for superman legacy we just got a great beautiful look at david cornsett superman's suit but not only him we got lois lane's first look and we also got another character another dc character but we'll get to that in a bit but first off let's look at David Cornsweet as Superman. Dude, dude, what a masterpiece of a suit, oh my God. This is what we need more than ever. This is what we need, the iconic. I love how they use the Kingdom Come, a Superman logo, you know what I'm saying? That looks beautiful. They, they gave him the trunks. I don't care if anyone says it's corny or anything. The trunks is an essential to the suit. We needed that. Beautiful. I really, really love the bright, bright colors. The bright colors are everything, are everything. It literally feels like I'm looking at a comp, like the, probably the most comic accurate Superman suit besides Christopher Reeves. Like that is like it, it, now in era Superman, Superman films, this is it, man. Wow, wow. It looks so, so, so good. And it looks crazy. And here's another, here's another angle of the suit. It looks so well, like, like for sure, Jane Beyond has put so much thought into the suit, the boots, everything, the cape, and, and the cape, on the back of the cape, it actually has the iconic S, the iconic um, Superman S on the back of its suit. And here are different, here, here's a, like a pick collage of different angles of the suit. You know what I'm saying? It looks so, so good. The only thing I would probably change change is probably the lines not that it's not a big deal it's not a big deal i just probably would just change the lines don't even add the lines just keep it just regular blue but i i, I do understand why they would want to add the lines maybe one of the factors that were into it is because when brandon ralph returned as superman in christ on infinite earths um for the Arrowverse crossover he actually wore like a, a, a just a, a classic superman suit and i think like he, like his suit like they didn't want it to like match too much like that suit you know what i'm saying so it's understandable it's understandable but but this suit is good at good at, good as good as it is it's not like it's not like they colored the lines where like in the, from a distance from a distance you could tell oh my god they had the lines no from a distance like you can't even tell the lines it's just, it's just kind of just there me personally i would just maybe just remove the lines maybe just keep a flat loop but but it's all good it's still good masterpiece of a suit it for sure shows that jim gun put so much thought into the suit like he like i feel like throughout the whole pro i feel like before before i'm not gonna lie i was one of the ones who were bitter about henry cavill being fired as superman i was one of the ones who were bitter being let go as superman i i was bitter because henry cavill was my favorite superman i really loved his portrayal as superman but then but then I'm not gonna like, 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 I, I kind of like, like, I like, I love, I love James Gunn. I love what he did with the Guardians movies. I love what he did with the Suicide Squad. I love what he did with Peacemaker. But I, I, I always felt like Superman is not those characters. Superman is not one of those, 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 like, those are complex characters. Where Superman is, he's the symbol of hope. Superman can be complex, but he's, he is. There's a story to him, but he's very, he's Superman. He's Superman, and I, and and it was very hard for me to get on, on board with him being the one. To take over Superman, so it was for sure like it was for gonna was for sure gonna take a while to convince me. But throughout the process, him showing us the All Star Superman, him taking inspiration from that for sure made me have hope. And the way he was talking about the way he was talking about Superman, like on the Michael Rosenbaum interview, I have Suicide Squad and Peacemaker are stories about very flawed people. When you say. Yeah, I think they're all, all my stories are. How do you handle stories about Superman or Wonder Woman who are not flawed and are basically gods? Well, I'm not writing Wonder Woman. I am writing Superman. I know. Um, but I think that's, you know, uh, Superman's flawed. I mean, not it, all characters have flaws. There's not, it, it's not as if he's not flawed. Um, but he's also probably not, he's not flawed in the same way. Peter Quill is. Peter Quill's a mess. Right, right. He's right. not flawed. Peter Quill isn't flawed in the same way Rocket Raccoon is flawed. Rocket Raccoon's a real mess. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. So it's like these are really deeply injured characters. And Superman is different than that. And stuff like that. Like more stuff, like the way he describes Superman, the way he the way he just, you know, 
he understands Superman. And the way the comics he's reading are actually great comics to take your inspiration from Superman. So yeah, that is very, very amazing, uh, honestly. So James Gunn has all my trust. And now seeing the suit, James Gunn has my trust. I want to see the movie first though, to, to officially be like, this, like, this is it, you know what I'm saying? I, I just, you, you know when you just want to see the final product already, that's the type of thing. But as of right now, James Gunn has my trust, and I, I cannot wait to see David Corn sweat on the big screen of Superman. But guys, we didn't all, we didn't only just see Superman. We saw Lois Lane, Lois Lane, uh, Rachel Brosnan. Uh, uh, I don't want to say I don't want I don't want to say the last name wrong, but the Rachel, the girl played on the Amazon series, the the marvelous thing, whatever. Um, here is Lois Lane in the cl comic accurate classic of purple shirt and black pants, guys. We literally have Superman and Lois Lane taken from the comic and thrown on the big screen. It's amazing. It's amazing. It's amazing. It's amazing. And then we all and they're they're also they're also next to army soldiers, which is pretty pretty interesting. Something big must have gone down to have a bunch of army soldiers around them. Um, also, we also see. A set, the set photo of Mr. Terrific next to Superman. Mr. Terrific, guys! The actor who plays Darwin in X-Men First Class is, is playing Mr. Terrific, so I cannot wait to see him as Mr. Terrific. His suit looks so, like, comic accurate. Like, it looks, like, it literally, like, this is what I mean. Like, it literally feels like I'm watching a live-action version of Justice League Unlimited. It generally feels like that. It generally feels like that. So, yeah. Uh, I, I hope we still always do see more set photos of the uh, more set photos of the other characters like Guy Gardner, Nathan Fillion, Fillion, um, Isabel Merch as Hot Girl. I cannot wait to see that. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, I cannot wait to see more, more, more set photos. But the ones that we got are amazing, amazing. I cannot wait for Superman Legacy. I cannot wait. This is probably like my this is my most anticipated DC movie of all time of all time because if you guys don't know this movie is going to save the dc the dc movies because if this movie doesn't succeed then we're only going to be getting the batman movies i'm saying and like no dc isn't only batman it's all these characters so for sure i want i i, I need this movie to succeed this we need this movie now more than ever in the comic movie genre because the last four DC movies, you had Blue Beetle, The Flash movie, Black Adam, and Aquaman The Lost Kingdom. And I really, I generally, I liked Blue Beetle. I thought it was a fun movie. I thought it was a good movie. Did I think it was a great, oh my god, one of the best DC movies? No, no. It was a fun movie though. I enjoyed it. Um, Black Adam. I really loved Black Adam. I really loved that movie, but everyone else hated it, I guess. But I generally, I generally liked that movie. The Flash movie, I'm gonna be honest. After rewatching it a few times, I don't like the movie. I don't like. I, I generally don't like the Flash movie. I know what I said in my review, but I generally like like rewatching a few times. Like I'm looking. Like I'm not the one to hate on comic movies. Hate on like hate, like hate on a movie and be like, oh my god, it's made man. No, no, no. I'm gonna tell you guys my opinion. I don't like the movie. I don't like the movie. If you guys like the movie, good for you guys. But me personally, I don't like the Flash movie. Aquaman: The Lost Kingdom. I did not like that movie. Like like I seen the movie and I just. I'm not gonna lie, I didn't feel motivated to make a movie review, so that's why if you guys saw the, like there was no Aquaman The Lost Kingdom review, that's why, because it was just, it was just, it was just not it for me, it just felt too, like, it just wasn't it, no, for me, you know what I'm saying, for me personally, but yeah, but yeah, so this movie is going to save the DC Cinematic Universe, it's going to save, this movie is, gonna, is basically the Iron Man to this version's MCU, because this is the James Gunn's new DC uh, universe that is going to be cinem a cinematic universe. I'm saying so. This movie is going to save it. We need this movie now more than ever. Now more than ever. This movie is probably going to save the comic movie genre in general because this is Superman is the most iconic character of all time, and this character means so so much to me. Like this character, like, like if you guys don't know, the, I think like one of the very first superhero figures I've ever had when I was little was a was a plush doll of Superman. It was a plush doll of Superman when I was very, very little. That was probably like my very first superhero toy, and that was like when I was like one, or one or just a new, like newborn, like when I was probably like one years old. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. 
Superman is one of those characters, and, and he he is like he he was my favorite DC character of all time. But because of Injustice, like I, it for sure lowered the bar, like lowered the bar a little bit, and then Flash took superior. But like Superman, I I know that's not 100% Superman, but you, you guys get what I mean though. So I really need this movie to succeed. I love Superman so much. His character means a lot to me. So I cannot cannot wait to see Superman Legacy. Let's freaking go. Let's go. So yeah, guys. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. Let me know what you guys think. Are you guys excited for Superman Legacy? Or what do you guys think about this new suit? And stuff like that. If you guys can, please smash the like button. Please subscribe. Please hit the bell notification. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. And I'll catch you guys next time. Peace and take care.